Hi, plant living friends. I'm gonna give you a quick walk around of what looks good at the ranch this evening. Tomorrow's our handmade hoe down. So we have 30 vendors, we have a coffee truck, and the retail team has really outdone themselves. The store looks really fantastic. So I'm just gonna walk around, show you all the great stuff we have. Jared and the growing team have been doing a wonderful job of growing perennials and fall annuals, and houseplants look amazing. So come on, let's take a look. So the first thing you see when you come in right now are these amazingly gorgeous Sunfinity reblooming fall sunflowers. The growing team grew these and they are just really spectacular. So we've got a, quite a few of these here. We got more over there. Um, honeybees and bumblebees are really loving them. Really beautiful. And along with that, let's go look at some of the other fall crops that we have over here. We've got our ever popular ornamental peppers. These are a great fall plant. We got them in purples. More purple guys up there, different variety. We've got these ones that are green right now, but they will turn into a red color. Um, let me show you once they're a little bit more mature. We also have our celosias or coxcomb. More peppers. Look at how great they are. I love the ornamental peppers. And there's our sea of koi fish swimming through our peppers. Because why wouldn't you have koi fish swimming through a sea of beautiful peppers? Anything goes at Groovy Plants Ranch. Got some of our ornamental kale and we have our fall plants in two sizes. So we've got them in this great smaller size. We grew these in house. The growing team did a great job. Smaller size, which is great for mixed combos. This is our millet. We love these for planters. They look beautiful in the fall. We've got more annual salvias so if you want a few more salvia to bring in those hummingbirds late in the season we've got you covered they're just starting to push more blooms on so they'll be bringing in those hummingbirds more ornamental annual grasses for your fall planters fall zinnias they're gorgeous and more coxcone up here and when we talk about fall plants, you can't forget moms. We've got moms already. So they don't have a lot of color yet, but we've got them. We got your little gumdrops. They're waiting for you. The color will come on in a little bit. And do not forget fall is a perfect time to plant perennials. And our perennial lot is looking fantastic and full. So we've still got hardy hibiscus down that way. These are smaller pots that aren't in bloom. We have some of the large ones that are blooming. You can't beat these dinner plate hibiscus. And you just can't beat that plant. We've also got lots of echinacea or cone flowers. Love a good cone flower. Got some nice goldenrod. These are more ornamental types of goldenrod. Um, fun fact, people don't tend to be allergic to goldenrod. They tend to be allergic to ragweed. So these should not affect your allergies and they are great for those late season pollinators. Um, this tends to be a time of year when there's not as much for the honeybees and the other pollinators to get. So these are a great plant to put in if you're trying to help our native bees and our honeybees. That beautiful lobelia. Phlox Gina, really great plant. Really floriferous, color is beautiful and it really does bring in more of those pollinators. Great plant trying to help our pollinators. Oh, there's a sleepy bumblebee. It's already time for him to go to bed, apparently. More beautiful cone flowers out here in the perennial lot. 
And these are Cheyenne Spirit, which are a really fun one because there's a variety of colors and flower shapes in this group. So uh, you could just plant Cheyenne Spirit and get a lot of different color variations in your beds. We have some beautiful butterfly bush that were planted here at Greeby Plants Ranch. Nice and fragrant. This is from the Buzz series. That's nice quality plants. And like I said, retail team has really outdone themselves. The store looks fantastic. So lots of perennials, lots and lots of beautiful sun perennials, lots and lots of beautiful shade perennials. The growing team has been working really hard to get great plants for us for the fall. Yeah, the stackies, I love a good stackies. They're a good fall bloomer. And then I don't want to miss any time to do houseplants. So let's run over through the houseplant buildings because we have lots happening over there. Wow, look at these blood lilies. They are just so fantastic. Ah, just love them. Okay, so blood lilies looking amazing. Skadaxis and then trio star. Look at these beautiful trio star. Color looking really fantastic in that evening light. You have some beautiful calatheas. Who can say no to a rattlesnake calathea? Got them in several sizes. Goldfish plants in bloom and nice hanging baskets. That's always a fun one. Called goldfish plants because of the shape of the flowers. They look sort of like a little fish. Aglaonema and Diffenbachia looking fantastic. There's some really great bromeliads right now. Bromeliads are a plant that we love at Groovy Plants Ranch and they're just a fantastic plant to keep around because they're a little bit lower water than a lot of the other house plants and they're slow growing. They don't need a ton of light. They're really a good plant to have around, a little bit different than some of the other house plants people that you can buy. Here's some philodendron xanadu. This is, I believe this one is still Jared's favorite philodendron um, of the less rare types. He just loves the leaf shape. It is a pretty great leaf shape. We have it in that size. And then we have Saloon Hope with its slightly bigger lobe leaves. And this is the same variety as, um, so the Saloon Hope, which these are nice sized plants here. These are the same variety of philodendron as our monster here in the greenhouse. So if you've shopped with us before, you've probably seen this bad boy. Um, and you see those aerial roots down there, they are wild. We regularly have to clean them up and get them out of the walkways because they just go everywhere. That plant has been in that part of the greenhouse for, I think four years now. It was given to us by a customer whose husband refused to bring it back in the house and now it is a permanent fixture. We could not move it out of this corner if we wanted to. We also have Beautiful ponytail palms. Look at these guys. Again, really great houseplant because they're a little bit lower maintenance than the Calatheas and even Philodendron, which are very low maintenance. Ponytail palms, even a little bit less maintenance. Great selection on Whale Fin Sands of Area, regular and variegated. And we have that yellow variegated, and we also have a few of this kind of white variegated types. We also have a great stock on these copper sands of area. Look how beautiful they are. And then we get to the ZZ plant section, and ZZs are my all-time favorite house plant. They may not be as sexy as a Calathea or as exciting as a Monstera, but they are my all-time favorite because they are just so easy and rewarding when you give them really basic care. So there's a normal, regular ZZ. Here's some Zenzi, which is a miniature. The leaf shape is a little bit different, color's a little different, stays a little bit lower. And then this is our newest variety. This is Chameleon. So it um, 
it has this very white yellowish foliage that fades to a darker green with age so that one's beautiful and of course we've got some of the ravens down here so gotta have a raven if you're collecting zz's rubber trees looking fantastic once again great plant looking really good I just cannot say it enough. The retail team has really worked hard, outdone themselves this week. So when you come tomorrow for the Handmade Hoedown, check out all of our amazing vendors. I'm really excited. Uh, no, don't bypass the houseplant buildings because they are looking amazing. And um, we also, like I said, our growing team has been doing a fantastic job of growing in-house fall plants perennials fall is an amazing time to grow your perennials and the reason fall is a good time to grow perennials is because you kind of get to cheat on watering your new plants in now we're in greenhouse too so we've got two house plant buildings right now and look at these orchids <gasps> they are so gorgeous and look at these cute little baby guys Look how little they are. I love them, beautiful colors. They're just the Phalaenopsis types, but great colors. Also, we have some of the harder to find types in person. Look at that flower, gorgeous. Orchids putting on our show. We also have a great selection of larger vanilla orchids here. And then we've got some smaller ones in hanging baskets up there. So vanilla orchids are the plant that you get vanilla beans from. Look at that beautiful guy. Look at that foliage. Now I'm looking at the plant and not at my screen. Ah. We'll finish walking through Greenhouse 2 in a second, but our houseplant buildings have gotten so full that we have overflowed into the back between the two where they intersect. So we've got the pineapple plants. Look at that guy. Red pineapples, coconut palms, some beautiful agave kind of here and then over there's more agave and some taller houseplant trees that way lots of pottery okay back in the other greenhouse more tritoscantia look at the nanook flowering ah so great starting to lose my light so I need to make sure that I don't miss anything important wow look at the color on that guy And our rare plant section still looking strong and fantastic. So, you know, buy some artisan goods, grab yourself some coffee from High Voltage Coffee Company, which will be out here tomorrow. Grab some chocolate from Chocolate More. Buy yourself a rare plant. Look at the leaves on that guy. So great. is our walk for tonight so if you can't make it tomorrow still come out this weekend it looks amazing artisan goods not your thing come out on sunday store looks fantastic lots of house plants lots of beautiful perennials succulent houses stocked i didn't even go in there because i was just so overcome by the beautiful fall plants and all the house plants and then of course tomorrow I'll come for the um artisan goods so 30 vendors coffee truck uh, and parking, we've got lots of extra parking added. We'll have that taken care of as well. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful weekend. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.